तो हाय नायनिका कॉन्ग्रेट्स फॉर डी स्कूल थैंक यू गुड नाइट गुड राइट सो प्लीज टेल अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड एंड व्हाट वाज द जर्नी सो फार uh yeah so i i'm i'm from a non economics background i finished my bcom from bmcc pune in 21 2021 so but i always had a passion for economics and somehow i couldn't pursue that in my graduation so i decided to join ego point and take a drop to prepare for these exams and somehow in the back of my mind d school was always my target so yeah so i took a break for one year and prepared for these exams and yeah <laughs> one other question you had maths earlier i mean was that taught to you in your course uh, in in pune uh no so uh, i had maths in my class 12th and uh, i specialized in statistics in bcom so okay. i did have some idea about the statistics part but economics was kind of new to me i just knew the basics so i studied economics in depth for the first time maths you had in the undergrad no 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 i mean so any paper of maths no uh there was a basic math paper it was very simple like just elementary things hmm so hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay so how you manage that maths wala thing because that's the natural question which is going to come because this <laughs> is a mathematical course so how you manage that maths wala thing uh, with this uh i i think i always had a flair for maths i always loved maths and i could grasp on to the concepts quite easily even when in my school days so it wasn't much difficult and also vidhi ma'am guided us so well so i would just rewatch all the videos and solve from textbooks so was in uh, uh, because you must have done since you had maths in class 12 so you have solved ncrts and all this yeah. so, but there was a break for 3 years maths. yes so the reason i'm asking you is because there's a natural question which many people uh, uh, are going to ask that is uh, how you prepared for that part well so you prepared only from here or you prepared uh, uh, for example some other book as well for maths uh i i read hammon very thoroughly when uh, i joined the institute you suggested hammon so hmm. i read i went through that thoroughly i solved many not all of the questions uh i were solved most of the questions which i could see which were quite challenging and uh, i would go to go through the class notes and assignments initially i would score very bad marks <laughs> even in the initial class tests ha huh? in the initial maths tests yes yes i would score quite badly but uh, slowly after practicing i could improve my scores in the class tests too So, but I mean, here uh, <clears throat> I want to add on one thing. So, let's say you are preparing. Let's say you are preparing notes for Hammond. I think the best way, if I were you, I would have done this this way that uh, I will read. I will just keep on reading the chapter. I'll write all the definition because he has very nicely written all definitions in the boxes. I will write all definitions very clearly. I will write all derivations very clearly, if at all it is there. and i'll just write the examples i won't look at the problems right now mm-hmm. once but once i'm through with the entire thing then i can slowly come back to the problems even if not all even if we have done those odd number if or even number problems for which there are solutions at the back we would have achieved a lot that's there so but writing those definitions is very important so because in d school na they're asking very definitional questions so which i think vidhi also is going to do uh, has been doing those definitional things so she makes you write a lot so that's uh, that is there uh, but doing hammond is again very important that yes has- i just realized that understanding the concepts and you know just kind of uh, visualizing the definitions especially in real analysis where we learned on mm-hmm. neighborhoods and all of that mm-hmm. so i tried to visualize those things so now i don't think i'll ever forget them so hmm. that's what helped me a lot uh, visualizing things kind of good, good. Uh, and what about uh, uh, statistics so which books you follow uh statistics i mainly followed ma'am's notes i did try uh, going through sc gupta but that was too much it was getting it was an information overload so i just hmm. went to ma'am's notes over and over so hmm. <laughs> and you know what i mean for sc gupta also 
um, I think the best way is, uh, of course, nobody can complete the entire essay. That's huge. It's humongous book. Even in Stats Honors, they are teaching that book for the for all the years, some 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 part through the years. The best way would be just to do the initial examples at least, so that you have the complete overview of the course, and then go on solving the things. That is the best way. Okay, so uh, one question which I always get, and I I've been asking these questions from everyone. Uh, so how many hours you have to put in every day? So I tell I don't know. I mean it is very simple. <laughs> So how do you answer it? Uh, uh, initially, when I joined the course, it was all very new for me. So I had to put in a lot of hours, like at least eight hours a day. But mm. then I started getting used to how to approach things. And the exams were far off. So they tapered off to like four hours, four, four five hours a day. But uh, again, before these exams, especially during ISI, that those uh, series of exams, during that time, I would put in 10 hours. Uh, on an average but uh, then I joined Gokhale Institute uh, before mm. the DSC exam so obviously I wouldn't get too much time to study so that was again it tapered off to four five hours not even four hours uh, but what I found was that I, those 10 hours which I used to put in over revising and doing the question papers that helped me so much that I didn't have to push, put uh, 10 hours before my DSC exam so that's yeah. that thing but uh, with Gokhale how you managed the preparation uh, thankfully to eco point uh, most of the things that they taught there I was familiar with those concepts so it didn't take too much of a time too much time for me to grasp those things uh, and other than that I would just divide my time with uh, my college studies and entrance exam preparation so and I think they complemented each other Achha. sort mm -hmm. of um, because I also tell students that you join any college, whatever they are going to teach you, that is going to be beneficial for the entrance also. Oh, definitely. That is that is true. They are teaching you economics only. So don't think uh, not joining colleges is, 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 is not a good thing. So yes. you join the college and you prepare it from there. That's that's a better way. And uh, so the another question which I ask is, uh, which, which I'm, I'm being asked is that uh, how many tests we should be doing? So you completed all DSC type? No. Oh, yes. I think only two were left. Oh, very <laughs> good. Uh, we have 47, 48 tests. Yeah. Um, because in the, you know what? Uh, when I was uh, uploading 48th test or some, so there are few people who said this, but sir, please. <laughs> Nobody is doing. And uh, this is also creating an anxiety that yeah. is oh, these many tests are there. So you did 45 tests. Uh, yeah, approximately. I left some, I skipped two or three in between. Like right before the DSC exam, I did the last two tests that you gave right at the end. So yeah, I would just do the test, like try to formulate my strategy because I knew I obviously I wouldn't be able to solve all those questions and some tests were really difficult mm -hmm. and that kind of uh, affect my confidence too. But then I would just write down the difficult questions and the basic uh, logic behind it. So that but was very Yes. But, but you know what I mean, uh, this is the way it is. That is, uh, uh, you are looking at the paper for just one year. We are looking at the paper from 2009 onwards. So we are seeing that some year there was, the paper was very easy. And in some year it was really difficult. So in 2021 paper, I would consider it to be a difficult paper. And 2020 paper was far easier paper. And uh, so there are spikes. So similarly, even in DSC types, there were spikes. So there were few yeah. tests which were very difficult and a few tests which were easy. So just to tell you, so that uh, you are uh, uh, not accustomed of doing just one type of question. So you know the flair of all kinds. That's there. Achha, the other question which I'm being asked and I'm asking you is, uh, how far important is uh, to revise? So because sir, we have done everything now, uh, I revised it once. Now, what else I have to do? So, what? How do you answer this? I just followed your messages. I had revised micro, like my micro notebooks, like at least ten times, ten to twelve times, and uh, macro and econometrics econom were newer, newer. So, like seven, eight times each, 
and right before my exams i just went through the notebooks over and over again just clearing out the concepts and even i would write down notes every time i went through them like just running notes i mean this write down notes means not complete notes just short mm-hmm. like just to put that in my head i i wouldn't necessarily go through it again go through my notes again i would mm-hmm. just write it down so like you also <clears throat> suggest writing down also helps a lot to remember and i think i would take that forward in dac2 you know what <clears throat> but i do i haven't uh, told this to student but just since you are telling this uh, the idea comes in the head that why don't we write just on the right side of the page just on one side and keep the left side free so that if anything else i have to write or add on i can just write it there while revising if i have to do i can write it in pencil and just rub it off so mm. those are the things which are uh, going to be useful so i think i'll add this to my uh, thing which i'll be telling to future students try to write it only on one side so that you keep one side free when you will be revising it will be very easy for you and that's true you know just flipping through pages also oh it this is helpful to a certain extent but uh, writing down main points also is very important yeah okay then how many times of past years these are the normal questions i mean i am asking you these questions again and again is because when i tell students you do this they say oh, it is his work i mean he will be saying all this but when students tell you have to do this so they understand the importance yes doing those uh, past years is important hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. I completed. I think the whole set of past year questions. I think I did them three times, hmm. uh, all the papers and uh, some difficult questions and papers which I had marked off. I would revise them over and over again. And also, I also revised the assignments which you gave. So even they consisted of, I think, almost all of the past year questions. So even that would count. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> the uh, registers itself, it will get over. yeah so you did in the registers itself uh, they will get they will be revised no yes yes no no uh, not in the registers i saw the assignments again uh, oh acha you gave i i thought i mean even within the registers I mean, you're just revising them unke sath yeah i would do that uh, but i i did go through them again so just solving on my own thinking on my own so so you did stats in your undergrad also you had the f- f- uh, some uh, introduction to econometrics too in your undergrad uh, course uh i mean we just had a uh, hypothesis testing some part of hypothesis t- testing just the basics of it and mm-hmm. i think statistics what what i felt was hypothesis testing was the most uh, difficult concept to grasp onto so that helped me the bcom background helped me with that because i already had a good understanding of that hmm. so how you prepared for econometrics type econometrics uh, i i found econometrics to be very hard i still find it very hard so uh, that was just revision and revision and making notes over and over again hmm. but, but i, I would think... just add on to her uh, point so if uh, let's say you're preparing so the best is uh, at least take up gujarati write all examples write all derivations and if the time permits do the easy problems <clears throat> from the back right this is the minimal which anyone can do for not the entire book 2 to 13 chapters hmm. but this is very easy said than done ye kehna bahut aasan hai ki tum aise 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 kar lo but you have to sit with this and and do it okay uh, anything else which you want to add on hmm uh i think the only thing that helped me clear dac was just following your and vidhi ma'am's advice blindly i would just do all of the things you said mm-hmm. and uh, just writing down like you said leave the left side of the page blank left side of the note blank so instead of doing that i would uh, write down my own understanding of the concept completely in my own words and write write them on sticky notes and put them in my notebook so my notebook is very thick <laughs> now this <laughs> sticky note wala thing na there is one other girl uh, who i was interviewing today uh, she also said this that she has made few flash cards yeah so that also is very helpful hmm. so i have not used either flash cards or sticky notes anywhere so i just write it i'm very traditional i write it in registers i don't know even i don't like writing it on ipad or anything it doesn't give me that feeling that i have made notes uh, 
but uh, writing on the paper na it has some tendency that it sticks in your head i don't know why but it does ipad pe likhta hu main sab bhul jaunga but agar wo ek bar likh liya register mein wo yaad rahega i have no idea why so that is there so making notes is is paramount this is that has to be done you can't just get away with that uh, और मेकिंग ओन नोट्स इज इम्पोर्टेंट अपने हाथ से लिखी हुई चीजें थोड़ी ज्यादा याद रहती हैं एज कम्पेयर टू फोटो कॉपीड थिंग्स दिस इज वन थिंग एंड यू टोल्ड अबाउट कि भैया कितने घंटा पढ़ना चाहिए नो दिस आई जनरली से पीपल इट इज स्टडी फॉर टू एंड हाफ आवर्स टू आवर्स कंसिस्टेंटली देर आर डेज वन यू कैन स्ट्रेच इट एंड देर आर डेज वन यू कैन टेक अ ब्रेक सो that is there so chal thank you very much nainika i'm very happy for you congrats once again and do thank very well in this school right chal thank you beta